<laughs> Yo, meme dog. Wait, what the hell are you doing with my phone? Yo, uh, remember that really old meme about the Brian guy and his bad luck? Yeah, bad luck Brian is called. I remember that, it's years old. Yeah, I, ju I just bought that for two pounds. How hilarious is that? You did what? You didn't buy an NFT, did you? Yeah, it only cost me two pounds and it was a joke anyway, so it doesn't really matter. No big deal. No big deal, huh? Well, meme dog, did you know that NFTs use more electricity in a single purchase than a house does in a single day? Just think about that. Wow, so if so many people are doing this, it ruins the environment just like how this fire will. If anything, the enormous carbon footprint left by NFTs is the cause of this fire. It may not be entirely accurate, but I'm not wrong, am I? Hey guys, Meme Man here, and I was meant to talk about this topic weeks ago, but I'm glad I waited because I have a hell of a lot more to talk about than I did a few weeks ago. So if you didn't know, NFTs stand for non-fungible tokens. To put it simply means that you're investing in something using your real money and you're getting something digital in return. Such as, say, a piece of artwork, which is funny because if it's already mass-produced and it's out there online, you can't technically own it if someone else has already downloaded it. Because I can just right-click and save. I sort of get it if it's a new piece of artwork specifically made to sell NFTs, but that still doesn't sit right with me. NFTs are so damaging to the environment and people are still willing to put their hard-earned hundreds and thousands of pounds into NFTs. It doesn't make sense. I'd understand if this was Bitcoin, because generally speaking, Bitcoin has been around for quite a long time now, and it's accepted as general currency, but NFTs just have scam written all over them. Look at this. Charlie bit my finger. Remember that classic viral hit? Oh yes, classic video. <laughs> well, they auctioned it off as an NFT and it sold for... 760k US dollars and they planned to take the video down off of YouTube after the auction had finished. Eh? I'm sorry, you, you can't just have something up there for many years and go, well, I, I, I am auctioning off the ownership and I'm taking it down forever. I assure you, there's hundreds and thousands of copies of this video there online. You can't just take it down because it's been up for so long. Once something's on the internet, you can't take it down. So make sure you are okay with what's going up online. I hate this new trend of people auctioning off internet history for profit years later. Loads of has-beens are looking to profit from their once famous 2008 and onwards memes. Keyboard Cat, Overly Attached Girlfriend, Scumbag Steve, Bad Luck Brian, the list goes on. Seems everyone wants to make a quick buck suddenly, and no one cares about the environmental impact. It's scummy, it's pathetic. Oh yeah, Annoying Orange was being auctioned off as a 4K Ultra HD remaster. But you know the first episode, the famous knife episode? It was being auctioned off as a 4K remaster, as an NFT. But someone just downloaded it off the website anyway and put it up on YouTube. You can't pull the rug from underneath all of us after many years of having this free content and suddenly going, Hey, you want to own this? Well, pay me a hundred grand, weirdo. It's not logical. Think. 
Wow, BRB, going to right click and save a bunch of NFTs. No one can stop me. <laughs> You're not going to stop people from downloading your videos because suddenly it's an NFT and it costs money. No, thousands of people already have it backed up on their hard drives. And all this says is, NFTs are a joke. It's not physical and it was up there in the YouTube cloud before you even auctioned it off. So there's always going to be copies of it. Stop it. NFTs are going to crash and burn sooner or later. Mark my words.